A sculptor named Joseph Petardi has a simple marker in Springdale Cemetery, one that belies his actual talent. Petardi was uh, born in a family that came from an area in Italy where they were all stone carvers. And his father was a stone carver. And when the Petardi family moved to Rome, that is where Joseph was, was born. And he started carving at about the age of five. And his father, of course, was a professional carver. And he ran away from home when he was about 14. They found him, took him back, and then later on he left and went to Paris and worked there for a, uh, two or three years, I think. And then went to New York and lived with a brother in New York and started carving in New York. And then he got to Peoria by being hired by a riverboat captain by the name of uh, Alexander Partridge, who gave the land for the Upper Spring, uh, Free Bridge, uh, uh, Upper Free Bridge, which is now, which was north of the McCluggage Bridge. And so he was hired by Partridge and came to Peoria to carve the, the Joliet limestone for the Upper Free Bridge. And he lived with the Partridge family and then later married a daughter and then stayed here in Peoria. He worked in places like Galesburg and Bloomington and around in various parts, but they, he spent the major part of his life here. Well, I guess he was a rather quiet man, and he had also had quite a sense of humor, which I think was brought out on the carvings on his house. Uh, he kind of had a, a, liked some of the rather slightly bawdy things that, that he had also carved. The lions, I understand the neighborhood children love the lions, and they used to play on the lions but the neighbors weren't terribly fond of the supports for the, for the porch. There are two partially nude women and Atlas holding up his shorts, and they were a little bit offended by that. <laughs>